So I'm gonna show you guys how you can do intense flash cuts on your music videos. I think these are super important to add an extra level of energy to your visuals, and I think they make the video stand out a ton more. So opened up in the timeline here, we have this hard rock music video that I shot myself, and I used a ton of flash effects inside of it. So I'm just gonna play it through it and show you guys how it looks. So it's very calm in the beginning. So there's a couple of ways you can do these flashes. I'm going to be running you guys through every single way that I use flashes in this video to add a ton of momentum. Now, before we hop into this video, my brand new plugin, Fast Effects, is finally out. It allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, and a ton of other transitions inside of your video in just one click. Everything is fully customizable. I'm going to be using this on every single one of my projects going into the future as it adds so much energy so fast. You definitely need it as a time saver, and the effects are just so crazy. So if you guys want to go download Fast Effects, they'll be in the description. But let's hop right back into the video. So first of all, I'm going to right click over to new and then create a new adjustment layer. And then on this adjustment layer here, I'm going to go ahead and scale it down here. We're going to go ahead and create a flash transition in between, let's say just on this one clip right here, because it already has transitions on it. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this here. And to do this transition, what I'm going to be using is Lumetri Color. So I'm going to search up Lumetri Color here and just drag and drop that on our adjustment layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into basic correction here and then set a keyframe for exposure and then press U on our keyboard while clicking on the adjustment layer. We're going to have our exposure set right here in the middle. So I'm actually going to go ahead and turn up the exposure on this. And then go a couple of frames over and set it back to zero. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing for this other side here. You guys can see we have a flash just like this. You guys can see it goes in and then out. Let's say we wanted to use that right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that right there. You guys can see there's a flash transition just like that. If you want to make it more intense, you can click on the middle keyframe and turn the exposure way up to seven. You can even go in and move these two keyframes closer together so you get more of a quick flash effect. Now to make this a little bit better, you could highlight all of them, right click, go over to keyframe assistant, and then go over to easy ease. And it's going to make them ease a lot faster and a lot smoother. So let's say we bring them out just like this you get a lot smoother of an animation. Now, I like doing this every now and then, but it isn't my favorite way to add flashes, and it isn't the main way that I added flashes in this video. Now, you guys are gonna be super surprised when I do show you the main way that I added flashes in this video, because it is super simple, but it just looks so clean. So we're gonna go ahead and hit new here, and then we're gonna create a new solid. We're gonna make sure the solid is white, and you can call it whatever you want. And now next, we're gonna go ahead and create another solid, and we're gonna make this one black. Now, what I did for this music video to add flashes is actually really unique, and I don't think a lot of people actually do it. So if we go ahead here, and we hold command and go one frame forward we could cut the white solid by pressing command shift d and then cut the black solid again by pressing command shift d and we'll delete the excess here so you guys can see we have an all white screen going to an all black screen and then we're going to copy this white one and paste it here so it goes white black white and then we're going to highlight all of these and pre-compose them you guys can see we get a stutter effect just like that. So this is actually how I added a lot of the flash transitions in this video. So if I go ahead and go frame by frame here, you have a couple of them that were just like the one before, as you guys can see here. But if I go frame by frame here, you guys can see it's the exact method that I just showed you of the white screen and black screen effect. So all you guys have to do for this, just like I showed you, is to make that pre-comp and then just paste it wherever. And the coolest part is you could actually export this from After Effects, save it as your own file, and then bring it in as a flash later on, which is super useful. What you can also do as well is if you click on it and go over to your mode, you can change the layer modes to whatever you like. So let's say you want to have it on overlay, you can get a really unique look there. Or if you want to put it on screen, you can get another unique look there. It's totally up to you guys on how you want to make this look. And then the last way, which is probably the most expensive way, because these other ways were free and this one's paid, to add flashes instead of After Effects is I use Shake Sauce over here. Shake Sauce V1 is sick. You guys can get this for a one-time purchase down below, but there's also Shake Sauce V2, which is a monthly subscription that has way more customizability and way more presets. So if we go ahead and open up our extensions here, you guys can see we have Shake Sauce 2 as well here. It's got a little bit cleaner of a UI inside of it, and then there's Shake Sauce 1. So if you guys are just looking for the one-time payment, Shake Sauce 1 is down below, and the monthly subscription for Shake Sauce 2 is also down below as well. If you guys use my code TAPES, you guys can get $5 off as well. So pretty much the way Shake Sauce works is let's say we want to add a transition in between these two clips right here. All we have to do is right click, create a new layer, create a new adjustment layer, and then go over, let's say we'll start off in Shake Sauce 1. We'll go over to All, and then we'll scroll down to Quick Hit with Flash. Just double click that, and then press U on your keyboard, and you'll see the keyframes come in. I like to line it up with this second one right here. You guys can see we get this flash shake effect that I actually used a lot in this video. You guys can see how instant that is inside of your timeline. Now with Shake Sauce 2, we're going to create a new adjustment layer. And on this new Shake Sauce 2 adjustment layer, let's say we want to add a little transition right here. So we'll open up Shake Sauce 2, and then inside of here, let's say we want to go to our our keyframe transitions. This is constant. It's going to affect the entire video and add shake to it, whereas keyframes are just like transitions. So we're going to go ahead and use Twitch and then hit the check mark. You guys can see if I play it through. 
we get a super sick shake effect. So if you guys want to check out either of the shake sauces, they'll be linked below. But yeah, those are my tips on how to add intense shutter effects or flash effects to your videos. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.